I'm back with part two of making my breastplate, um, my first EVA foam breastplate. So I am using a silver sharpie, like I said, to go ahead and map out. Um, the silver sharpie I noticed does end up drying out after a while, so I do recommend um, using maybe a white pencil, a chalk pencil, or um, maybe even a um, just a regular pencil so um I, it's awesome at first but it does end up drying out after a while because it kind of starts absorbing um in the foam like i don't even know how to explain it it worked up to an extent and you'll you'll notice that i think after later on it starts kind of drying out but it does work at the beginning um i got different pieces and i had to mirror them as you can see i'm like drawing them down and then i'm mirroring them so um I'm doing that first, I'm making sure that I go ahead and write the lettering of what each piece is and then I'm drawing out the registration marks as well because that's going to help me go ahead and glue everything together with the contact cement. Um, this pattern is absolutely awesome. I love Kami Cosplay's patterns, they're super awesome and you could even use them to even alter or create like your own pattern if you need something. Um, as a base to start, it's definitely an awesome starter. Um, as I stated in the video before, um, my body is kind of weird, like I have a larger chest but a smaller waist, so I really had to like scale it differently. Um, my chest is a little bit smaller than hers and my waist is a little bit smaller, but like, I don't know, my measurements were very weird, so I did have to kind of downsize everything, um, hoping that everything would work. I tend to have this issue with clothing patterns as well, which is why I tend not to buy a lot of simplicity patterns or anything like that, because I usually have the same issue. Um, it's really hard to, but... Honestly, out of all of the EVA foam patterns I have bought, I've bought quite a couple other ones. I think that Kami cosplays are probably the easiest to go ahead and just, you know, resize in your way. Um, and you'll see once I hold up the, um, the breastplate that it worked out. Now that I've lost quite a bit of weight, I'm definitely going to have to, um, I'm going to have to, like, probably remove a panel or so, but it should be okay. Um, you're going to want a cutting mat and an exacto knife. Make sure to properly let you know, cut everything out. Be very careful um, cutting these out. You can, can even use, there is such thing as an, um, there's an EVA foam cutter. Um, my friends actually got me one for Christmas and I think it's super cool. I can't wait to use it. Um, I'm now I'm going to go ahead and just kind of cut any scrap little pieces and start placing them together just to see how everything's supposed to go. Um, aligning everything, seeing what goes where, and I'm attaching the breast pieces first because I started creating the cups um, on the last video and it takes a lot of time. You put some contact cement on it, it needs to get tacky and those registration marks that you made earlier are going to work for aligning them, especially when you're using a cup. The only thing I would do differently here is I would use um, a heat gun and because I did not own a heat gun at the time, um, that's what made my life so much easier is using a heat gun and yes, I was playing Dungeons and Dragons while I was doing this, you guys. <laughs> if you see it in the background right there, my D&D dice and everything. Um, it was a lot of, um, a lot of multitasking when I used to play D&D. I absolutely love D&D but it took a lot of my time, um, because the weekends were, are the days I could make, you know, cosplays and just videos like this, so it took a lot of time, so ex excuse my D&D book just there. Um, I did notice, so like I said, you know, I had to kind of restructure the cup to be a little bit different, and I noticed that there was a piece missing because my my boob size was kind of weird. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. So there was like a piece that was missing. I had to go ahead and add that piece. I made it a little too short. So definitely keep any scrap pieces. As you can see, I'm like cutting scrap pieces to just make that corner right there. And you could tell right there on that corner that there's like something missing. So definitely keep scrap pieces and then you'll want some craft scissors to go ahead and cut that up. Oh my gosh, I'm having some mad double chin in these videos. Man, I'm so glad that I've upgraded my recording material because, and the way I record stuff, because th this is insane. Sometimes my videos still can be a little iffy. I do apologize for that. 
but but recording videos is hard y'all it's really hard i try my best for you guys and as you can see my videos have gotten a little bit better over time i can't wait to actually move into my house and have a full like studio so i can um have good lighting and just do everything i want to do i do apologize so um now that i actually have that piece added i'm making sure to um do the other side the other breastplate might need uh, some foam added as well but we will see once i connect it so i did finish the first breast uh piece and now we're doing the second cup so i'm really excited about this this was actually one of the less complicated ones there is some patterns out there that she has has like a lot of little pieces um that those definitely recommend to have a um a heat gun because you're gonna need to you know um be able to fit those properly and all that so i t totally recommend that um and as you can see i'm like trying it on my boobs like okay this works okay perfect because you really have to be you, you have to be doing that especially if you're resizing it you know i had to completely resize it and had to make sure that it was fitting well so excuse me trying everything on this is the best way to do it um and as you can see i was missing a little piece right there as well so i had already cut one out because i did end up using a mirror image so i knew that it was possibly going to need another piece so perfect i have the other piece right there to go ahead and complete the cup so i think this is probably the only um complication i ran into with this pattern is not having like the cup size kind of good like it was weird the sizing uh from the country that she's from compared to the u.s sizing was a little bit odd to me um i would change the convert it and i'm like that that seems kind of odd like i don't know converting for me was a little bit weird but like i said overall cami cosplays um eva foam patterns have been the easiest and the best pattern so far that i have bought um now i am attaching the side of the breastplate um actually the front of the breastplate where that um cup is gonna go so once again just follow the registration marks registration marks are everything and contact cement you literally just have to sit there and hold it and hold it and hold it because you put it on you got to blow it a little bit or you can even use a heat gun just very slightly and then go ahead and start sticking it and just kind of maneuvering it with your fingernails and kind of sticking it together um and you'll see it starts kind of getting tacky and gluing together um this one definitely had a lot more um a lot more like spiderweb glue stuff than stuff i've done in the past i definitely want to redo a lot of the eva foam stuff i have done in the past because i have learned from my mistakes it just it's very um it's very stressful i would say at the beginning you know just learning as you go but that's that's how cosplay is and you know you learn from your mistakes i'm gonna constantly be saying that throughout my videos because i think being a self-taught um like crafter and you know cosplayer you know every, every cosplayer is self-taught pretty much we learn things just like that from our own experiences so um yeah don't be afraid to mess up don't be afraid to you know go through it and with eva foam you can always use the scrap like i said all of this scrap eva foam i have saved and i've been able to use for like my lava girl for example has been really good i've been able to use it for that um especially like those random pieces that lava girl has so totally recommend saving all those scrap pieces so that is one side right there now i'm doing the mirror image i tried to zoom up the camera for you guys so you can see a little bit better what i'm doing um you're gonna see right there that i'm putting the glue and letting it dry i am blowing on the glue as you can see i'm like lifting it up that's what i'm doing and now i'm going to go ahead and start sticking it together uh using the registration marks and as well just kind of matching up the corners because they are a mirror image of each other um you really want to like i said hold them together and just close them with your nails like i i can't express that enough that's gonna be what's best to go ahead and close them it's a very slow and tedious uh process but there's a lot of holding involved and just kind of taking your time with it so you can get the piece to stick properly and now i'm going to go ahead and add that last piece this is the back piece that closes um 
same thing you're just following the registration marks and once these are done we could go ahead and add the cups the cups will actually go ahead and glue on that like angled area that you saw on the top so now we're going to go ahead and do the cups so the cups will go ahead and go right on that angled part so let's go ahead and finish gluing as you can see i needed a little more glue i'm like come on come on past self hurry up <laughs> all right so afterwards let's do this come on oh i guess i had one more panel so i guess we're adding one more panel and then we'll do the cups so this i think now that i'm looking at this i will probably have to remove that last panel because i have lost like i said quite a bit of weight now that i look at myself i think i was in the 120s in this video um i had already lost quite a bit of weight so in the 120s um yeah it's weird sorry it's weird seeing myself like throughout my weight loss journey i love seeing it but it's always it's always so weird i'm like i know exactly around where i was now we're adding the cup so we're, you're gonna go ahead and do is you're gonna add glue around that edge in the inside right there and then you're also gonna go add some glue at the bottom of the cup and you're gonna go ahead and match them up and you're just gonna be holding to go ahead and put the cup down this you're gonna be holding and pushing in depending on how you angle it so you want to go ahead and try to do like a straight edge with these but sometimes like you can angle it and make sure that each piece is angled at that right angle and then it'll glue nicely the best way to do eva foam i've learned is by cutting your angles or edges equally so you don't have like any mistakes and that's one of the things that i've learned um on this project for example there was like areas where my exacto went a little bit too far and it angled a little too intensely so definitely have learned from that now i'm doing the other cup and it's going to be the same exact process i added some glue and i'm starting with one corner holding it for a little bit and then i'm going to continue doing that holding it for a little bit it's just little by little you're just gonna stick like one inch piece and then wait then go ahead and stick another one inch piece and then wait i was kind of impatient with this part um so there are some pieces that have lifted and that's where i was saying you know like i've definitely learned from making this um and i'm still gonna use it but what i'd like to do maybe in the future is like add warbla on top of a breastplate like this because i've seen cami cosplay do that quite a bit and it's like i think it's so cool warbla is awesome but it's really expensive and i don't know how to use it yet i just know that it requires a heat gun and i already have one so maybe it'll work now i'm attaching both of the breast pieces together um with the registration marks that are in the middle and I'm just gonna be uh, gluing them until all the way together. I did struggle with this part. This part kind of lifted up a little bit in the end and um, it was kind of hard. I think maybe having a heat gun would have definitely helped on this instance and I will probably end up going back with a heat gun in the future um, to just go ahead and, you know, it's, it's kept its shape, but I wanna make sure it's even more shaped. I, I don't know if that makes sense. But yeah, this is pretty much um, it. Uh, from here on out, you'll be able to see my finished product and uh, well, of the construction. I can't wait to go ahead and actually paint this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.